How to make aloe vera juice for treating diabetes. There are sugar levels inside the human body that need to be at certain amounts each day and all day. People can have low or high level of blood sugar. When the blood sugar is low in some people they can experience irritability, jitters, weakness, headaches, fatigue, uncontrollable hunger and shakes. When blood sugar levels get too high our body makes insulin. Blood sugar is not something you can play around with, it can affect your entire body, and if it gets low enough you could have a real problem in your hands. Scientists in their studies used aloe for prevention of blood sugar. In those studies aloe has yet again come out with good responses. Aloe vera can help with blood sugar levels. In the world today over half of our population is overweight. There are also more cases of diabetics. These two problems are caused by blood sugar levels, and are also some of our most dangerous problems. When blood sugar levels are balanced, we have more energy to exercise. For the balanced blood sugar level, one diabetic had taken only a spoon of aloe juice, while the person who took nothing but the medicine experienced lower blood sugar. Aloe contains the right vitamins, minerals and trace elements to help control blood sugar levels. If we have problems in the body, we should be using aloe because it has many minerals and trace elements. Aloe is capable of keeping a balanced blood sugar level, and it is important for our health. We also find that we don't feel as sluggish and lazy when our blood sugar levels are up. Some information on aloe vera. Over time in the world many different ailments have arisen. For these ailments, the best remedy is aloe. We can separate aloe vera into two basic products. 1. Gel. 2. Latex. What is the production method of the aloe vera gel? Aloe vera gel is the leaf pulp or juice, a thin clear jelly-like substance obtained from the leaf that makes up the inner portion of the leaves. The gel contains various organic, inorganic compounds and carbohydrate polymers. What is the production method of the aloe latex? Aloe juice that is aloe latex is a yellow extract from the paracyclic tubules just beneath the outer skin of the leaves. The juice is often dried to produce aloe granules that are dark brown from exposure to the air, and it's made to be used as a laxative. Aloe latex can be found in some aloe gels. The reason for this is because this separation is not a complete process. It is better to make the gel as pure as possible, because aloe latex contains some things that are used for strong laxatives. The best source of aloe gel would be right from a broken leaf of the plant. The processed aloe is difficult to keep stable, a problem that can cause differences in potency. Aloe gel has been used for the treatment of skin irritations, wounds and minor burns. In many cases, aloe can be used as a drink, and also as a skin, care product. Products of aloe for internal use have been used for arthritis, constipation, diabetes, cancer, headaches, coughs, wounds, ulcers and many other conditions. Throughout the years aloe has been used for all different types of things, and is now sold openly on the market. People who buy aloe normally know exactly what they are going to use it for, and some just buy it to be safe. Aloe is now one of the few plants on the surface of the earth that can cure so many different ailments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click on like button. Please share this important video with your friends and family. If you have any question, please leaving a comment in the comment section below. We will try to answer with you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to our channel and share this channel on Facebook.